This is the 7 days to die 1v1. In this challenge, me and Shadow, both are the same names, are going to race to make the best and biggest base. During this time, we cannot enter each other's bases. But, if we do see each other in public, we may kill each other. One thing we can do is do trades, mutual trades. If we agree on a trade, we cannot kill each other. Welcome to 7 Days to Die 1v1. Welcome everybody. Alright, so what we have right here is uh, the screen that uh, you see mostly is Shadow 3056. The screen up top left is me. I'll be switching up screens, so just keep a look up for that. I'll be talking in between them, so hope you guys enjoy. So uh, here we have Shadow Jr., that, which is me. I'm just chopping down some trees. Right here we have Shadow 3056, and uh, he's going to be chopping down. I think that is iron. Yes, that's going to be very useful for when he gets a forge. And, uh, yeah, what I'm doing right here is I'm just getting one hit on freeze while walking, trying to find some nests. Nests are very valuable because at the end of seven days, we will have a battle to the death. It won't, it might not exactly be on seven days, but on, on the seventh day, we lift the restrictions, we're, uh, so after that we can attack each other's bases. We can try to steal each other's stuff until one, uh, demands defeat, right? So right here, here is me failing at shooting a zombie. We're gonna put some epic music on behind it. And right here, I shoot the shot. Right here. And it goes right through his head. Right through his head. You guys can rewind that, but it looks like it goes right through his head. There has been some glitches I heard of that, so maybe uh, they will fix that. So if you guys are not clear of how this works, right? Uh, it's 1v1, me versus my dad's child, 3056. And uh, the winner gets no prize, just for fun, pretty much. This is me uh, trying to uh, defeat the zombie. And uh, yeah, we're uh, on separate locations. At the end, we'll friend each other. So, uh, so we'll know each other's bases, so we'll mark them, we'll unfriend each other, and then we'll have a little battle. We'll see how it goes, and uh, when I say little, it's probably going to be a big battle. But here is me, uh, like, killing the zombie. Watch if I go to the right every time I hit him, or like, go like, really speedy after I hit him. Just to make sure he can't hit me and I don't lose any precious health. Uh, this is Shadow, it's 3056. He's being killed by a zombie right now. Ooh, what just killed him? Is that a spider zombie that just killed him? I think that was. He is dying desperately. He's in need of a bandage. He's gonna put his bedroll down, which is super smart. Because once he has his bedroll down, uh, he can spawn there if he dies. Here's a little spin up version of what happens. Here I find some loot right by this car right here. I look inside. Don't find anything in that, but the car, it takes like 4 seconds to load. Let's see what we get. Get some duct tape and all that's pretty good. Here's Shadows from 056 at the village. This is probably where he's gonna decide those bases. Yep, yeah, right here. This is his base. Alright, so I have decided personally I'm gonna build my own base. And Shadow 3056 is gonna try to make his base. There's one problem with this going for your own base is that there are a lot of zombies as you can see there. It's gonna put a costly penalty on those deaths. And that can have some near death trauma effects. And that can do some mining, maybe repair. I don't know what it's all. I'll see the bus. And here he goes. He is dying. Ooh, no. The zombie is chasing after him. All right, he's dying. He's in a desperate need of a bandage. Did he already use his bandage? I think he used his bandage earlier. He is dying. He's got to run away. Or the zombie is going to kill him. That's going to be costly for him. He is running away now. His health is ticking down at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One and he dies. Here he's going back to try to get some revenge on the zombie that killed him. I don't know if that's the zombie killed him. Oh, it's someone right behind them. And these zombies just eat him alive. That's not very good. Let's see if he can uh, get better from this one. He's gonna draw the zombie away, which is smart. He's gonna run and get his back his backpack. It's only two left. So uh, it's not as good back. Crawlers and crawlers have so much HP, it's crazy. 
he's looting to get zombie. And he will. He's already at one death, too. That could have cost him big time. Here's me right here. This is my house. I'm starting to build. This right here, I'm going to do a standard land, land just like a like square house. I'm going to expand it later on and have some tracks for land there. And uh, this, is, this is going to be his fun base. It has cost me a uh, amount of zombies in it. But, as you can see, it has a really good garage. It's seven episodes, maybe more depending on how long the battles go for. Alright, this is me building my house. I'm gonna go around, uh, I'm gonna go around the side of the house, just so I can, uh, have some views of zombies, and I can put some stuff up here when I repair them, so I can put, like, fireplaces, and I can put fire like that. So, four fire bases key, I got that stuff, and the zombies. So, this is the end of the episode. So we have Shadows 3056, which is really good fortified base. It looks like it's coming out all him right now. He's doing really good on uh, upgrading the stuff and keeping everything supplied. I right here, I'm making a floor so I can place some stuff on the floor so the chest does not disappear. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. It's a really close match. He did die six times. That's his total death count, six times. So that could have been too costly. We don't know. So, the 1v1 will be coming Day 7. 
be on the lookout for that. Episode 2 will be up soon. Hope you guys enjoy, and here is a little bit of what's going to happen in the next episode. The first ever trade. Shadow and Shadow Jr. meet up for the first time to do an epic trade. The stakes are high. What will the trade be? And what will happen next?